Steelmaking is a water-intensive process, requiring up to 20 cubic meters of water per ton of steel produced. Most of this water is used to compensate for evaporation and mechanical losses, and does not contribute to wastewater generation. In contrast, unit operations such as rolling, continuous casting, pickling, and others generate highly complex wastewater containing polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, PAHs, cyanide, ammonia, non-consumed acids, benzene, toluene, xylene, oil, grease, and other contaminants. Additionally, these processes produce wastewater containing metallic oxides, toxic elements, oil, nitrogen, and heavy metals such as zinc, nickel, chromium, and more. To address this issue, physical and chemical treatment methods have been employed, including physicochemical and membrane-based systems. These treatments are expensive and often result in the production of hazardous sludge, which must then be landfilled or incurs additional costs. However, sludge can be a valuable resource, providing multiple benefits when properly managed. A comprehensive review was conducted to identify the This article was authored by Aitan Roy Chowdhury, Neha Singh, Arachal Vanviraraghavan, and others. We are article.tv, links in the description below.